what would the content of the trees be that the prophet would have with the other pagans? Because uh, it was, was it more than just we don't attack you for the next four years? Four years? It, 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 any, any X amount of time? Four months. It, it really it seems that most of the treaties were basically treaties of coexistence that we're not going to attack you and you're not going to attack us and you will also not support our enemies you will not conspire against us so not being involved in any fight with us directly or even indirectly so most of these treaties that were with the mushrikeen were of that nature basically establishing an, env an environment of coexistence where you know we, we're not gonna fight you and you're not gonna fight us and you're not gonna support our enemies and you're not gonna also you're not gonna attack us or our 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 allies as well look so in our societies people often find it hard to achieve inner peace yeah. And what are some of the important practices that the general Muslim public should change in order to get closer to Allah and achieve this inner peace? So th this this requires a lecture in and of itself. But just to be, <laughs> to be brief, I think, you know, if, if you look at Surah Al-Asr, uh, Al Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wal asri inna al insana la fi khus illa alladhina amanu wa amilu s salihat wa tawasaw bil haqq wa tawasaw bis sabr you find that surah al asr basically says that people are at loss the only ones who are going to walk away from dunya with a gain are those who believe and do righteous acts and then who encourage each other on truth and who encourage each other to be patient you see brothers and sisters that this surah seems to indicate that we have to help each other that it's difficult to reach Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on your own meaning that you have to create a network or have individuals in your life friends in your life who motivate you to increase your spirituality to get closer to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so finding people who are also interested in their spiritual development interested in increasing their knowledge who you associate with has a profound impact on your spirituality i mean i'll give you a very simple example you know if you want to get in shape you're more likely to get in shape if you go to the gym with a partner right because you're gonna have days where you're not that motivated so you have someone to motivate you the same thing applies in spirituality you know you need to be around like-minded people so you can remind each other because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the end of the day he wants us to establish a righteous society you know even in Surah Al-Fatiha, we say, It is you who we worship. You don't say, You don't say, it is you who I worship. Allah doesn't want us to think in terms of I. He wants us to have a, a, a communal perspective. So, spending time with people, having, you know, people who you see as your spiritual partners, is 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 a way that I think you can achieve this uh, this inner peace by surrounding yourself with like-minded people who are interested in uh, in spirituality, who keep you in check, who remind you of your responsibilities. You know, holding gatherings like the gatherings that we're having. You know, putting yourself in these type these types of atmospheres is uh, will go a long way.